So developers of real-time systems need to know that they're meeting certain timing constraints. Now on traditional microcontrollers, this can be problematic due to their architecture. Because of features like branch prediction and prefetching and caches, this basically means that you don't know statically how long a particular piece of code is going to take to execute. However, on the X-Core architecture, we are deterministic, which means that we can know at compile time how long a particular function or a particular instruction or a particular path between two points will take to execute. And we've used this unique feature to create a tool, and this is the XTA, the XMOS Timing Analyzer. Basically, this allows you to tell the worst case execution time between two points in the program. The way this works is, first of all, it constructs a control flow graph based off the binary, and then it will use pattern matching techniques on this control flow graph to build up a structural hierarchy representation of what the program is. And then we can annotate that hierarchy with the best and worst case times at each level of the tree. This hierarchy can then be displayed in various means. It can be displayed as a tree or in some other visual way. And this is basically how the XTA works. It, you, it can be used in three different contexts. It's a standalone command line tool. So then you can just use it at the console in both a scripted and an interactive manner. It can be used inside the XTime Composer, which is our Eclipse environment. Again, it can be used in either a scripted or an interactive matter, uh, manner. And also, finally, if you have some XTA timing scripts, then you can pass these to the compiler, and then on each compilation in the future, you can re-verify that all your timing constraints are being met.